When we think of an anime fight, we often think of giant swords or out of this world weaponry with magical powers. If not, then maybe mecha battles are the next to pop in your mind with some of the most memorable fights in anime history involving those. As for the swords or weaponry statement, I think a lot of Attack on Titan fights feature extensive scenes of eye-catching sequences thanks to the maneuver gear and the scale of the battle. However, for this video, we're not talking about those. This week, I'm going to be spending time briefing you about the next best thing, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I said the next best thing, but that doesn't mean that these fights really play second fiddle to seeing Levi slice up the Beast Titan or Gilgamesh unleashing the Gate of Babylon on some poor soul. In some ways, hand-to-hand -hand combat sometimes feels even more intense and important than those featuring swords and weapons. After all, here you have characters getting down and dirty, outright using their bodies, magically enhanced or otherwise, to deliver a world of hurt to their opponents. Without further ado, let's get to it. We start off with a bang by taking a look at Eren's fight against the female Titan. Now, which fight are we talking about here? Eren and the female Titan had numerous scuffles in the first season of Attack on Titan, but we're going to be talking about the first one. Seeing the death of the Levi squad, Eren goes into full rage mode as he always did. Seriously, Eren and rage mode seem synonymous with each other. Transforming himself into a Titan, hope seems to be on the way for the good guys, and the female Titan will be put down by our hero's empowered state. Well, not really. This is Attack on Titan we're talking about here, and we just saw teamwork crumble in the face of an insurmountable foe. Still, Eren gives it his all in this epic battle of the behemoths that remain one of the most memorable moments of Attack on Titan's first season. The two giants traded and matched up to each other with earth-shattering blows, but at length, it's the female Titan who comes out on top, pulling Eren out of his flesh and blood mecha in style. It's a nice fight that firmly cemented the female Titan status as a major threat. Those who recognize Kiss Shot more as the little vampire Shinobu will probably be surprised to see this side of her. Kizumonogatari's highlight fight features her battle with Araragi, and it's as graphic as it gets. An omnipotent being looking to die, Kiss Shot looks to fulfill that goal by fighting Araragi. The problem is that being a powerful being that she is, the fight's not going to be so easy. The only thing that keeps the duo alive is their own powers and regeneration. In the end, Kiss Shot arguably lost this one on purpose, yet one can't deny that she had one hell of a fight. Normally now, I would say something like, that's how you make an emotional climax of an arc, but the fight's so cartoony in its delivery and animation that it probably appeals more to a certain demographic. Still kudos to the animation team for showing us this epic battle. The anime changed some of the things, so you might want to see the novel version of this fight. It offers a slightly different yet fulfilling new experience. <laughs> Seeing a poster of the Psycho Pass anime would make anyone think that this anime is not going to be one to feature a lot of notable hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Gen Urubuchi masterpiece having a premise backed by psychological themes revolving around mortality does tend to lean towards more shootouts and cerebral battles. You probably remember the series more for its themes and charismatic characters. However, it's also here that I unexpectedly saw one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fights in recent memory. Kogami vs Makishima as a fight on Psycho Pass's episode 16 is an intense slug Fest. The two combatants contrasting personalities reflected in their fighting styles and there's just a lot of motion. The two slug it out, pitting Makishima's grace and precision against the rough street fighter in Kogami. The fight features minutes of crisp animation and it spills all over the place. It was a hyped fight back then and looking back at it now, it certainly aged well. <laughs> hand-to-hand -hand combat video is not complete without a rep from legendary boxing anime Hajime no Ippo. So make way for the next fight on the list, Sawamura vs Ippo. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, Sawamura is probably one of the toughest opponents Ippo had to face in the entire run of the Hajime no Ippo anime. This fight's also, in my opinion, the culmination of Sawamura's arc, and looking at the fight in context makes it even better. Throughout its run, Hajime no Ippo has spoiled us with gritty, intense fights, and this one's no exception. Given that Ippo is fighting the greatest counterpuncher of all and a psychopathic individual at that, this fight's in no way a walk in the park for our hero. The long fight presents some of the best twists and moments in any Ippo fight in the series, and you really have to see it to believe it. In some ways, Hajime no Ippo is really one of the kings of hand-to-hand -hand combat when you talk about anime. The fight is also notable for the Dempsey roll scene, so you might want to take note of that as well.
For all the praise the Fate series has gotten for its animation and soundtrack, one entry that often gets overlooked is Apocrypha. Most people know Apocrypha for Mordred, Jean and Astolfo, but it also gave us one of the best hand-to-hand -hand battle scenes in the franchise. Given how the franchise prides itself on historical figures and their otherworldly noble phantasms, you'd be surprised to see a straight-up hand-to-hand battle like this. But it did happen, the battle between Achilles and Chiron is a fight to remember. Two fighters in their decisive battle gave us one of the best sequences in Fate Apocrypha. With each impactful blow, the viewers get sucked into a very immersive and visually impressive fight. Their final fight's the well-deserved payoff for Achilles' journey in overcoming his personal obstacle. Hey, it may not be a UFO table show, but Fate Apocrypha is an often overlooked gem that deserves more love. Hand-to-hand -hand fight? Sounds like a job for Saitama. With how easy every fight is for Saitama, it's really a bit hard to pinpoint a fight that's drawn out and contains a lot of epic moments. However, Saitama taking on the onslaught of an entire race is something that will live on for the near future. Looking at the animation for this fight, you'd be surprised to see what peak One Punch Man was like, especially if you just came from watching an episode of Season 2. The animation, the camera angles, the close-ups, it's all there. Such an exhilarating fight gets pushed to another level thanks to the work they put into the animation. Well, I'd like to speak much more on the fight itself now, but what can you say? What do you expect out of Saitama? It's not really a fight we can comment much about because it's practically a slaughter. But it turns out that Saitama was just dreaming up the entire epic encounter. The fight was wonderfully animated and has some really great hand-to-hand -hand action. If you want to see a whole race go extinct in the span of a few minutes by facing off against one Baldi, you've got it in this fight here. Over the years, One Piece has given us a lot of cool and emotional fights. In addition to the emotional context and the weight of the fight, I'd say that the battle against Luffy is one of Luffy's fights that is all about his raw power. For a lot of fights, Luffy receives help in true shonen fashion, whether it be surviving Crocodile's initial assaults through luck or Law helping out against Doflamingo and others. However, this battle against Luffy is a good old physical brawl that, barring some motivations from Usopp, basically is a battle that Luffy won through effort. Not a lot of plot-related devices going on around to help Luffy secure the win, and we're treated to a nice little slugfest that features the two combatants answering each other with blazingly hard punches and physical feats. I've recently talked about Gon versus Hisoka in another video. I think that what carries this fight really hard is the context and how it plays out in the grander scheme of things in Hunter x Hunter. For so long, Hisoka's been this obstacle that urges Gon forward in addition to his previous goals. After a scuffle that ended poorly for our protagonist, the two go head to head once more in the Heavens Arena. Gon takes the initiative and starts the battle with his preemptive strike. What follows is a touch and go fight where both fighters calculate each other's moves. The potential that's been teased forever for Gon is in full Display, and the two fighters go at it in some good old unarmed combat. When the dust clears, Hisoka remains standing tall, victorious over his plucky opponent. There's no shame in defeat for Gon though, as despite him looking outmatched, he surely gave Hisoka a far tougher fight than the Enigma would have imagined heading into the battle. Looks like deja vu here, doesn't it? But Spike and Vincent's fight is once again second place on another list. One of the greatest fights in the 2000s makes it back and barely misses the top spot once again. However, that's not a knock against the fight. As far as the fight's concerned, it's a glorious work of art, especially considering the context. You wouldn't expect animation like this in the 2000s, and what it shows simply blows some of the modern anime fight scenes out of the water. Spike and Vincent's battle features action that's intense, fast, crisp and chaotic. The two fight all over the place and it's not every day that you can get a fight where you feel every ounce of emotion from the combatants backed by really excellent delivery in each blow. It's rare to see an uphill underdog battle be this epic. Okay. 
Remember this moment? If you've been following this channel for a while, of course you'll remember this moment. Nevertheless, Obito versus Kakashi is here once again, and we have to partly thank the builder for that. Builders ninjas at the top of their game, as well as having an entire mini arc dedicated to their past, Kakashi and Obito have all the makings of a big time match. Their inevitable confrontation and conclusion of their year long storyline has been hyped to hell and back, and when we do see it, it delivers in every possible way. Despite me talking about the build up, that's not to say that the fight is in any way shabby. The blitzing speed at which this fight happens inside Kamui and the responding of powers between the two tip top fighters all come together to create one of the best fights in Naruto's decade long history. Period. And that's it for this top 10 list. I wonder which one among these fights is your favorite. I want to know your thoughts, so please let them be known through the comment section below. As usual, if you enjoy this video and want more content like this, the like and subscribe buttons are there. Make sure to click the bell button too. That way you'll be immediately informed whenever we release a new video. I hope to see you in the next video. There's a lot more to come, so I'll see you next time on VinnyTube.